How are you feeling? How's your love life today? Are you single, listening in with a significant other who you are so glad you don't have to be writing in about? Or are you like some of us in this dating pool, wondering what all this slimy stuff is we've got swimming around us, floating around us? <laughs> um, so today we're talking about, today we are going to be talking about something I heard last night. Uh, oh, I was in a chat last night and um, heard somebody talk about, you know, um, they were talking about like social medias and access to your phone and how I guess this is like a given when you're serious in a relationship, people expect you to just hand over the rights to your social media or rights to your phone, rights in terms of like being able to see who you're talking to, what you're talking about. And that seemed a little intrusive to me, but it made me wonder, like, is this, is this a sign of someone having some trust issues? Or is this, is this supposed to be like a next level for relationships? Is this where we are? Is this how things go? And, uh, so that's kind of what I want to talk about today because I, I I have some thoughts, but I really want to hear your thoughts. It's what I want to do. So yeah, I want to hear your thoughts. What do you think? Like, where are you in giving somebody access to your phone, your socials? Um, is that even a thing? This is not marriage. This is just in dating. What are your thoughts on this? Let's talk about it. You're listening to Dear Jelly on the X. What's up, what's up, what's up? Hi, Mike. Thanks for being here. Hey, VL. Thanks for being here. Hold on. Um. I almost had it playing in the studio, but I don't want Facebook to get ugly. How are y'all doing today? Happy Sunday. I'm really tired today for some reason. Hey, Kia. Let me get, I need, I need a chair, huh? Hey, Kia, a.k.a. Nashanta. I'm still waiting on you. You waiting on me? Oh, yeah. Um, I'm trying to come next month. I'm trying to come next month. You know, I had to get my employment situation together. So I'm trying to come next month. And in case you're wondering where the music is, Facebook kept knocking off um, all these beautiful people. Facebook kept knocking them off. Now, Shanta, why are you trying to put my business out there that you waiting on me? Um, but so to try to make things to where Facebook can stay out of my business. <laughs> what is wrong with this? Hold on, guys. Sorry. Give me a second. I'm trying to stop Facebook from knocking my people off because these are some wonderful people that take time to log in. I love y'all. You have no, no, no idea how much I do. Um, so now I'm just like, I don't even um let the music play in the studio like I like it. Oh shoot. Hey, 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 tracking back. That was that was Afro B with my way. <laughs> You're tuned in to WXNA LP Nashville 101.5 FM. This is Dear Jelly with DJ Jelly. How are you doing? 
How are you feeling? That song ended a lot quicker than I was expecting. And if you do want, um, you know, you, we, we can take, you, you can take, uh, I can take requests. If you have a song you want to dedicate to somebody, go ahead and DM me. Let me know you have a song you want to dedicate to somebody. Um, if you are tuned into the live chat, shout out to all the beautiful people um, watching in the live chat. If you're tuned into the live chat, then you can't hear the music unless you log on to WXNAFM.org. And so I would love it if you did that to hear the music. Otherwise, yeah, go ahead and put a request in. Go ahead and put a request in. Um, so we're discussing your social media, your phone. Um, I was in a chat last night with some pretty awesome people. And a gentleman talked about how, you know, he had some trust issues from cheating and things of that nature. And even some women were agreeing like, yeah, um, they want to see your phone. Like, this is not your husband. This is not your wife just your significant other in terms of dating, wanting access to your phone, like wanting access to your Facebook, basically to see what you're doing. And to me, that sounded like trust issues. That sounded like control issues. And I'm not saying that um, I think he has those issues or she has those issues. I'm just saying that I feel like that can be perceived as control issues. And um, I mean, why do you need to see what they're doing? VL says, I wouldn't provide access, nor would I want access. And that's what I was thinking when I was um, amongst those awesome people. I was thinking, why? Why would you want to, um, why? You know what I mean? Why would you need access to somebody's phone? Why you need to see what they're doing on social media? That's their, that's their stuff. Shannon says, hey, Shannon. I love this picture. Um, Shannon says, if I have to be Inspector Gadget, then I don't need to be with you. Exactly. Exactly. That, I feel like that just takes away a peace of mind that we deserve to have, is what my thoughts are. Um, but that's just me. But that's what my thoughts are. You know, And I just don't feel like you can you know, freely jam. <laughs> Use that purposely. Um, jam the life peacefully if you're worried about what somebody else is doing. Speaking of jam, here's Jam from Starboy featuring Wizkid. You listen to Dear Jelly on the X. Hey, Nishata. So we have license to play this stuff. So what ends up happening um, in reference to play music, licensed music, yeah, we have license to play. You know, you have to have it to play on the radio. And we're on FM, you know, it costs a little more, but we have access, license to do all that. Um, Shannon, thank you for being here. But Nishanta, so basically what happens is Facebook will hear something that sounds like something else. Um, knock my people off. Say, oh, uh, somebody put claim on your music or we had to claim your music. And then, like, 30 minutes later, release it. I just got tired of going through that every single Sunday. Every single Sunday. Knocking people off or saying, oh, it sounds like somebody else's stuff. And then releasing it. Every single Sunday. And I got tired of that. Um, so, and it doesn't happen on YouTube. It only happens on Facebook. And I wouldn't have as much as a, of an issue of Facebook doing it if they didn't knock my people off. Like, if you want to mute the video, mute the video. But don't knock people off and then come back and say it's been released. That made me mad. So after so many times that happening on Facebook, I just decide, um, decided to lower the sound on Facebook um, live, which meant lowering on everything. Let me see what we have here. Kia says, you can see it, but you're not going to have access. So even like when you say they can see it, Nashanta, are you like, they can see it because you're like 
showing them like, oh, look, I just got a call. Look who it is. I'm because I did like let me say I um there was a gentleman I was talking to briefly. A gentleman I was talking to briefly, and he would do this like, this is who's calling me, this is who's texting me, and I wouldn't ask him. I didn't ask you. Like, why are you showing me? But he was talking about how he was accustomed to women having to prove to him, him having to prove to women that that is who he was talking to. So that was weird for me. Um, Because I'm not doing it. I'm not asking to see your phone. I'm not asking to see your Facebook. I don't think that's my business. Just don't think it is. And so if I have to do that, like Shannon, um, I believe it was Shannon who said, if that's what I have to do, we're not doing it. Not doing that. Let me tell y'all about Mike. Mike, you still on the line? Let me talk crazy about Mike for a second. So Mike gonna come on there. Goodness, Jay. Gotta stop doing this. All right. So tracking back, that was Starboy with Jam featuring Wizkid. And before that, Afro be my way. I'm going to go ahead and share with you about um, the coronavirus pandemic is still far from over. The CDC recommends everyone ages six months and older get vaccinated against COVID-19 and everyone five years and older should also get a COVID-19 booster if eligible. To check your eligibility and find vaccination locations near you, consult your doctor or visit vaccines.gov. Okay, if you are just tuning in, hey, 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 you're tuning into WXNA LP Nashville, 101.5 FM, and um, this is Dear Jelly. Hey, 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 happy Sunday, happy Sunday. Thank you so much for coming on. We are discussing, we're discussing social medias. We're discussing um, access to your phone, access to your social media. Let's say you start talking to somebody, you guys decide you wanna be exclusive, and they demand, they was like, this is a no, like this is a must that we have access to each other's phones, access to each other's socials so that we can, um, you know, just know that we can trust each other. What does that scream to you? Does that, I mean, does that scream trust issues? Does that seem like, oh yes, they're serious. They want to be serious with me. Um, this is them let me know like oh yeah that they're serious about me um i love what shannon said she said if shannon said if i have to be inspector gadget then i don't need to be with you and i agree with that um nashanta says you can see it but you're not going to have access she nashanta says when i become an fbi agent i am looking for something and then it's a problem and I agree with that. You know, there's that saying that when you go looking for something, you're definitely going to find it. Um, and Nishanta says, like, if, if someone asks to see her phone or her socials, she will show them. But my question is, why are they asking? Why are they asking? Um, Shannon says that might be a trick. VL says, and not a trick is in the person trick, but, you know, they're, they're playing tricks. Um, ha, <laughs> might be a trick. VL says, I have never been in a relationship without trust. I have never had a spouse to question my interactions because the spouse knew me. And that is a good thing um, in terms of like knowing who you're dealing with. Um, and I think that anytime we get into a relationship with somebody, we are opening ourselves up to, hopefully we are, we, we need to be vulnerable, right? And vulnerability also means we're, we're risking, we're taking a risk that we might get hurt, but we're trusting that this person won't hurt us. So I just feel like if you're off the bat, just like, let me see your phone. Um, we need to see your phone. Or I need access to your, your social media in order for us to have trust and move on. <sighs> that's, that's just not good. That's, that's just not good. I, I don't think that's a good idea. I don't think they should do that, but you know, there are some people who feel like that, that they need to see your phone or need to see, you know, access to your phone um, or need access to your socials, especially like your messages to be sure that they can trust you. 
And like somebody said, if you're doing all that, mm -mm, it's not good. I'm just saying. In particular, that ain't good. Here's Particular by Major Laser. You're listening to Dear Jelly on the X. Okay, Mike, you still here? So, okay, so Mike brings up a topic of, um, yeah, I just went right back to throwing shade on Mike. I love Mike, though. I promise I do. So, Mike. So, Mike brings up a topic. Like, oh, let's talk about the topic that was on your show last week, right? So, we talk about the topic that was on my show last week. People, you know, chimed in. Really good conversation. I really enjoyed it. And then I was like, I don't really, I was thinking it was late. Um, I hadn't taken the time to read through all of the, I just didn't read through messages and whatever to figure out what we're going to be talking about. Ooh, reminds me. Thank you. Um, what we're going to be talking about. And um, I'm sorry. Sometimes people post in. They post their comments in inboxes, and I have not been doing a good job of checking Facebook's inboxes. I always jump and check um, Instagram. Okay, I digress. So then I start asking questions because I'm like, oh, maybe they can give me an idea for the show. And Mike was like, you going to ask on my platform? On my platform? And I want to say, we, you just started to come with the chat. You brought up my platform what we talk about in your chat, but I can't ask in your platform to help me out. I thought that was funny. I just feel like being petty by bringing that up. Mike. Mike, oh, because he can bring up my platform to help the conversation that he got going on. But I can't bring up my platform to help the conversation that I need today. I'm petty. I need to go to the okay, Nishanta says that's why. People need to heal from their past relationship issues and don't bring it into the next relationship. Exactly. Exactly. That's what I think, too. I'm tired today, y'all. How are y'all doing? How's everybody doing? I'm kind of tired today. Sorry, I just had to mess with Mike momentarily. Um, I agree with you. I don't know. So I couldn't find this song. Um, I agree with y'all. It's kind of chill today. I'm kind of tired, so I'm kind of chill today. But um, I definitely am in agreement with y'all. Somebody brought up couples needing to have joint social media pages so that they could see what each other is talking about and to help stop trust issues. You're logged in to WXNALP Nashville, 101.5 FM. Hey, 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 this is DJ Jelly with Dear Jelly, and I'm so glad that you're here. Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday. So tracking back, that was Major Laser, excuse me, Major Laser with Particular featuring Nasty C, Ice Prince, Patron King, and Jidenna. That was Particular. Speaking of people being particular, we're having a conversation about in some relationships, some people feel the need to require access to people's cell phones, require access to people's um, social pages. And um, during the music break, I even brought up how I've been learning about how some people are requiring that they have a joint, joint social media accounts so that they can... I guess monitor what the other person is doing, keep things safe, keep things feeling open. <laughs> and uh, I just don't feel like, I feel like if you have to see or ask to see somebody's socials, ask to see somebody's um, phone, you don't need to be in a relationship. 
um, either that person has caused you not to be able to trust them or you have trust issues. I like that. Uh, Nishanta says, where is she? Where is she? She says, that's why people need to heal from their past relationship issues and don't bring it into the next relationship. I agree. VL says, it could be that was a normal protocol for that person. Now that's true. If you, um, you, it's true. And they may have had some people that they were in a relationship with who had issues and thought this was a normal thing to do. And so it's like, oh, hey, here's my this, or hey, you haven't given me your password to your phone yet. Um, Nishanta says, I have met so many men over 40 who are still hung up on what a past person did to them. Ooh, over 40. So, so what do we do? Um, does anybody have any thoughts on how we can get past some of these issues? Because that's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. At what point, at what point do we grow or let go? Um, does anybody have some tips? VL says that could be a normal protocol for that person. Yes. Oh, it came through twice. Nashanta says no couples account unless it's a business. Yeah, I'm not with the couples account either. I don't understand what that was about. I thought that that was weird. But apparently it's a common thing. Mm. I'm on the late bus because number one, we're not doing that. And uh, number two, it's not a good idea. And number three, we're not doing that. We're not doing that. I can see if you get married and you want to have a family account, or if you are a family, not necessarily married, but maybe you've, you know, you've created a family structure and you want to showcase your family that way. But I'm not a fan in joint accounts. Not a fan in joint accounts. Um, I don't know. I truly am a believer in that whole, if you go looking for something, you're going to find something you don't want to see. You're going to find what you're looking for. You're looking for trouble. You're going to find trouble. It's going to be flagging you down. It's a waste of time, waste of piece of time. You know, you just have to, I believe if you are, if you decide to pursue someone, then you have to allow yourself to be vulnerable, choose to trust, enjoy the moment, enjoy the courtship, enjoy the dialogue. And if there isn't any of that, move on. Because you are more than enough. You deserve better. I'm just saying. Ooh, all right, y'all. Um, here's Early by Jules. You listen, Dear Jelly, on the X. Kia, no couples account. Y'all, so I will not be here next Sunday. Um, I have a wedding out of state. But I am, um, so I'm trying to make sure I check this other, because each week somebody messages the other page and I have not been checking it. And I felt bad because they be like giving good advice, saying things. Kia! Tia! Kia, 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 aka Nishanta. Kia says, you have to want to move on and then ask yourself, did I see the red flags in the beginning? Some things tend to ignore when it's right in our face. That's true. I like this song. Though. Hopefully it'll come y'all. Faithfully, do not come up people off. I don't know why I yelled at like just because I say Facebook do not cut my people off the Facebook can't cut y'all off. But I like this song. I hope it's going to catch y'all off. So yeah, I'll be out of time this weekend at a wedding. And um, that'll give me time to go through some of these DMs. People have been writing about stuff that I kind of don't want to talk about. I don't want to talk about religion. I don't want to talk about... Um,
gender stuff. Unless it's something sexy or really funny. <laughs> it's just stuff I don't want to talk about. I don't want to talk about anything political. I know y'all. I like this song. Tia, where are you on um, phones, socials, sharing them? Now, I've seen some people who have, like, on TikTok, they have, like, their own TikToks. Then they have a joint TikTok account. So they've been having like thousands over here and then thousands over here. And then together they have like thousands together. That's cute. That's cute. But other than something like that, I don't think we should have no joint social media accounts. That's just my thoughts. And I don't know. My question is, Kia, have you had anybody over 40? Ask you for you to see to see their phone. That just sounds like a young person thing to me. So it was really shocking for me to hear. Um, for me to hear an older man say that. Yeah, I mean, if we can pay, we can have multiple accounts. But they were saying last night that having multiple accounts is a good way to prove they're not cheating and to see what other people are doing. And I thought that was kind of bananas. Hey, 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 you're tuned in to WXNALP Nashville, 101.5 FM. And this is Dear Jelly with DJ Jelly. How are you doing? Happy Sunday, happy Sunday. We're so glad you're here. I'm joined by some pretty good looking people on TGI Jelly on Facebook as well as TGI Jelly on YouTube. Today we are discussing social media. Social media. Um, is your significant other not your spouse? Um, I guess because I'm kind of biased. If it's your spouse, I mean, why would you hide that anyway? But significant other um, requiring access to your phone as well as access to your social medias, I guess to make sure that you're being true and faithful to them. Um I just don't think that's necessary. And it just, I mean, to you, what do you think? Does that scream trust issues? Does that scream you need therapy? Does that scream you might be controlling? Does that scream we might not be ready to be in a relationship? Or does that scream, oh, this is getting serious. Now he or she, you know, wants access to this because they want to be with me forever. What are your thoughts? Let me know. While we're t uh, I just don't know. One thing I do know is that WXNA is your all-volunteer free-form radio station flying our freak flag in Nashville for more than six years, thanks to you. We depend on our loyal listeners for financial support. Help us keep our freak banner flying proudly in Nashville and beyond by becoming a member of Team WXNA today. Go to WXNAFM.org and show your support. Um, checking back, we had Jules with early... I like that song. Early, early, early in the morning. Yes. Um, early featuring Malik Berry and Nonso Amadi. So speaking of really good looking people. What a good looking. So Nashanta says, no, I have not had anyone ask me that yet because they know the answer is going to be no. <laughs> yeah, that's in reference to me asking. I mean, are, are people over... 40 asking you for access to your phone and to your socials. Um, it was definitely somebody over 40 mentioned that that was a norm for him last night. Um, I was on this awesome um, night social um, hosted by one of our um, favorite listeners, Mike Walker. He has a really great singles group and um, he hosts virtual socials. For the single people. And um, that was just something that one of the people said last night. And it just kind of made me go, hmm, is this a norm? I just don't know. It can be looked at two different ways. Tia says, for my husband, engagement, 
okay for him to look at my phone. For me, just be looking in my phone to prove myself. Nah. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, why why are we looking at my phone? Or what are you looking for? Why are we looking at social media? What are we looking for? Um, I think earlier I was asking, like, how do we get, oh sorry. I was asking, like, how do we get over some of these trust issues and stuff? Other than of course therapy. Um, if you're a spiritual person and you know, prayer. Um how do we get over some of these issues so that we can, you know, not feel the need to, you know, be in somebody's personal stuff to feel safe? And so Nashanta was sharing, she said, you have to want to move on and then ask yourself, did I see the red flags in the beginning? Some things tend to ignore when it's right in our face. And that's true. You, you, ha- you have to want to move on. You have to. You have to. Um, it's a choice. Definitely it's a choice. I agree with that. Tia says, I've had my friends or family tell me what someone texts while I'm driving. So something similar to that will be okay. Yeah, I'm definitely okay with that. I mean, and I've, and I've done that before. I'm like, look what so and so said. Or what do you think about this? And I mean, it's fun. It's fun to share, you know, cute stuff. It's fun to share funny things. Maybe even tell them a little bit about what's going on with people um, as a safe place, but not necessarily like, we just gonna be in my stuff. Mm. I don't. I don't know about this. I. I just don't know about that. You know, because that's gonna make somebody wanna pull up in a negative way. But in a non-negative way, here's "Pull Up" by T. Meyer featuring Burner Boy. Listen to Dear Jelly on the X. I gotta turn it down because that's T. Meyer. Facebook. I know they're gonna hate on that. I appreciate y'all chiming in. It was something else I was going to ask y'all. Hold on, let me put this. Um, I don't know. I think that's more of like a young person thing. It's what I've always thought until last night. I learned something new. Learned something new last night. I guess people of every, every, every age, though, might be looking for drama. It's like people of every age be cheating. They be cheating. We were talking about cheating last week. Oh, let me read these comments from last week about um, once a cheater, always a cheater. That was really a really good conversation we had last week, and I really appreciate everybody that chimed in. And I want to go ahead and read the comments from those who sent me some but I didn't think to check uh, Facebook comments. I only checked Instagram comments. So they say, yes, cheating is a sickness. Yes, it's called narcissist personality disorder. Social personality disorder is what some, is what um, someone shared from last week. And then someone else, then they also said, um, cheating um, can be because of the antisocial personality disorder, and it's hard to change that mental disorder. And then she said, my husband disagrees. He says he knows cheaters that have changed. And so, yeah, I didn't even know all those different disorders and things were happening. So those are some comments in terms of once a cheater, always a cheater. Is that such a thing? And so I appreciate you sending in those comments. I do apologize for reading them a Sunday late, but know that everything you send in matters. Y'all are amazing. I wouldn't want to do this with my, by myself. I can't do this by myself. I mean, I could, but why? Why would I want to? Well, y'all are so awesome. Hey, Um. Uh, so I have honestly forgot the other question that I have for y'all. So no socials. You meet this person. Is that considered a red flag for you? Would that be a red flag? You meet this gentleman, you meet this young lady, and she lets you know that it is so important that she has access to your socials and access to your phone. Is that a red flag? Is 
Is that a red flag for anybody? Let me know what you think. I think that would be a red flag for me. Hey, 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 you are tuned in to WXNALP Nashville, 101.5 FM. This is Dear Jelly with DJ Jelly. How are you doing? Happy Sunday. Hope you're having a wonderful day. I'm having a pretty interesting conversation with some beautiful people on TGI Jelly on Facebook, as well as TGI Jelly on YouTube. Um, tracking back, that was T. Maya. Pull up, featuring Burna Boy. We are discussing, like, your social media accounts. Um, you meet somebody great, start talking to them, and they let you know, hey, it's a requirement that we share social media account access as well as access to your phone. Um, is that a red flag for you? Is the question I literally just asked with a music break. If somebody wants to see your phone or if somebody wants to see your social media, is that a red flag for you? Um, I know someone jokingly at one point when I, I mentioned that I don't ask to see people's social media and don't ask to see mine or my phone. And it was like, he was like, oh, you're you're a player. You're a player. I thought that was kind of fun. But um, no, we're adults. Is that a red flag for you? And then um, I did read some comments from last week in terms of once a cheater, always a cheater. And someone shared some social disorders that might cause someone to kind of cheat. I guess if you're dating somebody with those social disorders, it might make you want to have access to their phone as well as to their um, social medias, just, I guess, to kind of monitor and make sure they're making good choices. I don't know that that's your responsibility, though. I mean, but I, we might be on the fence with that one. Uh, we might agree to disagree on that one. Shannon says, to say once a cheater, always a cheater means that people do not have the ability to change, which is absolutely not true. And I believe that. I believe people can change. And if you are having to see someone's social media or be in someone's phone because of past things, then you need to heal. Um, you need to heal. And... Uh, You need to heal and um, be open to people changing. Be open to new things. Be open to new things. Um, people can definitely change. People, things can definitely change. Oh, I want to share with you guys about Renewal House. Pregnant women living with a substance use disorder are at high risk of experiencing health complications without proper prenatal and postpartum support. Renewal House can help you focus on overcoming your substance use disorder by providing specialized treatment tailored to meet your needs. A healthier life for you and your baby is a possibility with Renewal House. 615-255-5222, extension 114. So... Talking back about um, a need, a need to be in somebody's social media, a need to be in somebody else's phone. Um, I'm me this. For me, it's a red flag. It's a red flag. It, it, it's uh, it's a red flag of some serious emotional damage, um, trust issues, cheating issues. Doing, I mean, monitoring somebody's stuff, not doing that. Oh, oh, oh. Shannon says it best. Shannon says, monitoring a grown person's phone is ridiculous. I'm just going to read that again a little calmer for those in the back that didn't hear it. Um, Shannon says, monitoring a grown person's phone is ridiculous. And I absolutely agree. It is ridiculous. I think it's ridiculous. And if, um, I mean, I can understand, like, um, and I, and I, um, I empathize with those who feel like they need to monitor, they need to see in order to feel safe. I empathize. And then I also wonder, should you be in a relationship if you need to monitor someone? Because if I'm with you, choosing to date you, be in a relationship with you, get to know you, then it means, I mean, I'm choosing to be vulnerable and to trust my feelings with you. So if I'm not doing that, because I'm monitoring what you're doing and checking to make sure that 
you know, I did make a good choice in talking to you, checking to make sure that you are being faithful. I mean, you don't need to be in a relationship. That's just my opinion. Of course, it's just my opinion. I'm just saying, that's just how I feel. I don't agree with having to monitor an adult. No. Not with it. Not with it. I'm just saying. All right, let's just get to a little bit more music. Here's Me and You by Praise. You listen to Dear Jelly on the X. Oh, is this one going to play? Be nervous. The Facebook's going to cut you guys off. Thank you to everybody that chimed in and gave their, um, their thoughts. It really does help this hour go by, y'all. Hopefully the pandemic will at some point calm down so that um, I can go back to having people in the studio and having weekly guests and talking about stuff. Shannon, 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 we're going on September. You're a month away from getting married, right? I believe so. Congratulations to you a thousand times. May you continue to be blessed. I get excited when I hear about people that have found their people. That's what it should. Oh, yes, yeah, she said right. Yes, 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 yes. I want to hear about more weddings, y'all. Can y'all get out here and meet some people? I want to hear about more weddings. Life is too short. Hey, Ramil. That is so awesome. Let me get some sparklers up in this mug. Where's my... I love it. It is definitely worth celebrating. Just get married. 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 And she's going to be a beautiful bride, too. Not that there aren't beautiful brides. <laughs> Not that every bride isn't beautiful, I'm just saying. Um, We're doing something new in 22, y'all. So we got to get out here and meet some people. I believe Juan is back. So he should be coming up here soon. They had a celebration for them out of town last week. But, um, yes, wedding. I'm excited. I want to hear about more weddings. More, more, more. We're doing something new in 22. So we're going to step out and do something new. Meet some people. Try some new things. Be trustworthy. Be vulnerable. Have a little more fun. I think coming out of this pandemic... Um, worrying about what's on somebody's phone and what's on somebody's social media. It's time out for such foolishness. If you got to worry about somebody's phone, somebody's social media, be by yourself and worry about yours. Um, so once again, I won't be here next Sunday because I will be emceeing a wedding out of state. I'm very excited about that. But I will be here the week after. So go ahead and um, send me some letters, send me some topics, DM me what we want to talk about. Um, sorry, I promised him that I will make sure that I will check their messages. I'll be no. You're tuned in to WXNALP Nashville 101.5 FM. This is Dear Jelly with DJ Jelly. Hey, 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 how are you doing? And I am having a pretty nice conversation with some pretty awesome people on TGI Jelly on Facebook as well as TGI Jelly on YouTube. Tracking back, that was Praise, P R A I Z. With me and you featuring Sar Cody. Featuring Sar Cody. So we've been talking about 
Um, monitoring adult social media, monitoring adults phones just to make sure they're not quote unquote cheating on you. Um, in this day and age, I didn't even think that was still a thing. Um, I found out about it during a pretty awesome, um, singles gathering that took place virtually and, um, held by, um, a pretty faithful show supporter, um, Mike, what's my last name? Mike Williams. And uh, look him up on Facebook. Check out what he had. Mike Walker, excuse me. Mike Walker. I knew it was a W. Sorry, Mike. Mike Walker. Check him out. See what he's got going on. And uh, <laughs> where did I get Williams from? But um, people are asking. This age, people are actually asking to see your phones, asking to see your social media, asking for con um access to these things. I didn't think that was a thing, but apparently it is. And the question is, is this um, a red flag? Like a sign of somebody having trust issues, maybe them being too possessive. Or is this like how people are showing they're ready to be serious with you now? They're ready to have more of a commitment. Is this how they show that? I personally think it's a red flag. Um, Shannon said it best. Monitoring a grown person's phone is ridiculous. Monitoring a grown person's stuff is ridiculous. I just think it's ridiculous. DJ Juan has walked in the building. What's up, DJ Juan? Hey, how's it going? Going good. Um, Juan, so I don't know if you were listening in on the way in. I was. Um, and what are your thoughts on dating somebody who wants access to your phone and to your social media? No, that's a red flag. It's a red, 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 red flag for sure. It's a red flag. So you don't yeah, see it as like, like trust like, issues. Trust issues. It's, and I mean, like you're getting married. Yeah. Um, do you have access to your fiance's social media? No. Does she have access to yours? No. What about all your phone stuff? My phone, uh, I think we keep it pretty separated. Keep it pretty separated? Yeah. And it's not because you're hiding something. No, it's just because we each have our own thing. And like I said, there's no time to check people's. <laughs> there's no time. <laughs> we're, we're so busy between like work and things. It's like, how do, how do you, who, who has time to like check on other people's uh, social media? You're too busy adulting. Yeah, exactly. Adulting, yeah, living adulting. life. Yeah. Adulting. Like somebody that was in their 40s, I was talking about that last night, this <laughs> virtual thing, and I was just like, people do that? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know who does that. People do it, apparently. Um, that's, that's bananas. I was listening in, and I was like, yeah, that is that is crazy. It's bananas! Not, not crazy. Sorry, I shouldn't use that word, but it is. It's a little different. It's a little, it's way too different. How do you say that in Spanish? Diferente? It's different. Okay? Diferente. It's muy different. It's muy different. <laughs> muy different. That's yeah. just what we're thinking. That's yeah. just what I'm saying. And like as Shannon said, exactly. I like what she said. Yeah, well, she 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 got it cut it right to the point. Shannon hit it on the. I mean, just yeah, she hit it. She on the did. Yeah. She did. Monitoring a grown person. It's, it, she did. It's, it's ridiculous. It it's is so ridiculous. Shy. How do you say ridiculoso? I mean, what am I? How do I say this? Ridiculo. Ridiculo. Okay. Ridiculo. It's ridiculo. ridiculo. So if somebody asks you, see, it demands that to be part of a relationship with them. Tell them it's ridiculo. Ridiculo. Ri, ri, ridiculo. Do, tell them no seas ridiculo. Tell them what now? No seas ridiculo. No seas ridiculo. Yeah. Don't be ridiculous. Don't be ridiculous. <laughs> That's what we're going to tell them. That is what we're going to tell them because it is ridiculous. All right, y'all. Getting ready to play the last song. The next voice you're going to hear is going to be that of DJ Juan and the International Echo. Um... Appreciate y'all being here. Um, wouldn't want to do the show without you. Couldn't do it without you. Shout out to everybody that chimed in. Your your thoughts matter so much and make this show what it, you know, what we like. What you know makes it, it helps everybody. It helps everybody. We love you. I'm just saying, let somebody go if they're doing that mess. If they not, then don't let go. Here's not let go by Malik Berry. You listen, dear Jelly on the X. Uh Tia said, hey DJ. Juan, and she's got two 
waving hands uh, at you. Right back. You see, you see him waving back. <laughs> oh, Shannon said, have a blessed night. You too. Shannon's getting married too. Oh, nice. Congrats. Wait, Shannon, what are you, Juan, Juan's wedding Congrats. is. When's your wedding? November. <laughs> Juan's wedding is November 5th. When is yours? I want to say hers is in October. I like hearing about people getting married, you know? Because they're back like it's hard to find somebody. But I mean. Yeah, it happens. I thought it was going to be hard. But... You thought it was going to be hard to find somebody? Should yeah. we talk? Maybe we should talk about that. She said October 9th. Oh, nice. That's great. He said, that's great. Well, I guess she can. Congrats. Can she said, he said, congrats. <laughs> that's amazing. That's right. <laughs> Isn't that? That's wonderful. Yeah. People act like it's that hard. Sometimes I think it's some of us. I think it's me. Just being honest. Hi. I'm just being honest. She said, same to you. Congrats to you. Oh, they had a stag. Stag? Stag and drag. Stag and drag. It was a drag show? No. No. We wanted to get a drag queen to uh -huh. do bingo, but we couldn't do it. So it's like a bingo. It's a stag and drag where they did like a bingo. It's like a fundraiser. Lots a of games. A fundraiser with games to raise money, and the money goes to Bride and Groom. Yeah. Y'all made money? Fifteen hundred. Oh, you made money. But we spent fifteen hundred. So. No, but we made fifteen hundred on top of the fifteen hundred we spent. That means you, you didn't make no money. We made fifteen hundred on top of like three thousand. Okay. We made three thousand. So Juan made three thousand. I mean, let me tell his business. Sorry, y'all. He made money. <laughs> He made money uh, for he and his soon to be bride. All right, y'all. We love you. Let me go ahead and get off of here so that um, Juan can get in the place and get the get the Spanish on. I like this song, but I'm scared. Well, I can turn it up because I'm about to log off. Yeah. All right, y'all. Have a great one. I won't be here next week because I have a wedding I'm emceeing, but I will see you the week after. All right, y'all. Be blessed.